Peggy 7. I'm Eiji Awanuma, producer of The Legend of Zelda. This game takes place on the open sea, so there's an endless view of the blue ocean and blue sky. And now that the game is in HD, it really feels like you're looking at an infinite sky and a boundless sea, and you get that feeling much more than the original. It's just the one blue color, but I was surprised to find that it felt like the blueness continued on all the way to the horizon. You can really feel the sunlight, which is very important when the setting is on the open sea. You get the sensation of being able to feel the temperature. Artistically, it's a cartoon, so it may not look photorealistic. But you can feel the sunlight. It's as if it has become more real now that it's in HD. Even though it's animated and not real, I think there's a surreal sense of realism. When we started working on this Wii U remake, we first wanted to make sure it supported the gamepad-only mode. Of course, it's great how you can experience it on a big TV now that it's in HD. But I also want people to feel the freedom of being able to play it with just the gamepad. So that's what we worked on first. The Wind Waker gives Link the ability to control the wind. Link faces the screen and holds up the baton like this, in a sort of pose. At first, we controlled his baton movements using the L stick. But when we looked at him on the gamepad screen, it looked like he was begging to be controlled by touch. We tried it, and pressing your finger against Link and moving him felt so intuitive. It was as if you're showing Link how to swing, and we think it turned out really well. It really feels as if you're connected with Link. Link's point of view actions, like aiming and controlling certain items, are done using the gyroscope. We use this method in other titles too, so you can imagine its intuitiveness when aiming at objects. You're also able to aim using the L and R sticks, so you can play in a style that works for you. This time, the ship can travel much faster. During the game, you can acquire the ability to speed up the ship. On the GameCube, in the previous version, it took some time to load the ocean data because it was so vast. So, if the ship had gone too fast, it would have sailed to the edge of the ocean and fallen off. Now that it's on Wii U, the capabilities have been enhanced greatly, and we're now able to load the entire ocean at once. Now that we were able to do that, we could speed up the ship. Back then the ship sailed rather slowly, but now that this nylon's come closing in at incredible speed, you arrive at your destination before you know it. It feels really great. But if the ship was that fast from the beginning, you wouldn't appreciate it. Once you reach a certain point in the game, you'll become able to go this fast and experience how great it feels. When you play the entire game in the GameCube version, there is an event right before the final battle where you must go and gather the pieces of the Triforce. You have to take your ship out to gather all of them. And this can take a while, and is a little bit cumbersome. That was the tough part in the latter half of the game, and many people felt that it ended abruptly. And even I thought the same thing when I played the game. I want to make sure the game flows really well, and that it's a great and fun experience. So we're making all these minute adjustments to it, so players will feel great when they get to the ending. And once the players make it all the way to the ending, I think they'll really feel a sense of accomplishment. I hope you're looking forward to experiencing it for yourself. 
I feel like I'm now finally fully able to do what I wanted to back then. With the original title, we challenged ourselves to let players feel the sensation of sailing into the endless ocean, to feel the blue ocean beneath the blue sky, for the first time in the Legend of Zelda series. In a way, it was my first game where I was able to freely try a lot of different approaches as I was playing, to see what worked and what didn't while we were making the game. So in that sense, I hope you, the players, will explore and experience for yourselves what you're able to do in the game.